Right there. Thus, these dogmatic, intolerant Christians use the media to spread negative propaganda against anyone that is not like them, and use the cliches of the day to attack and rouse the public against anyone different. If we were living in the Dark Ages at the time of the Inquisition, SIST personnel would have been labeled as heretics and burned at the stake. If this were colonial times, SIST personnel would have been labeled witches and drugged through the public square to the guillotine. If this were the McCarthy Red Scare era, SIST would have been labeled as a communist and driven out of the country. Consequently, in the 1970s, SIST personnel were labeled a cult and likened to Moonies, Charles Manson, and Jim Jones. When paramilitary groups were the hype, SIST became a paramilitary group. When all the child molestation by Catholic priests hit the fan, SIST was accused of child abuse. Since World Trade Towers were blown up, terrorism has been the daily news media hype. So in what is likely the scandal of the century, religious Christian cult leader Shana Mayor Lorna Marquardt and her followers put SIST on the national terror alert list. Shano authorities know that despite the abuse SIST has endured, SIST has never resorted to violence, has no criminal record, and owns no weapons. SIST has just taken the abuse and done nothing. Someone needs to investigate the criminal records of the leaders of the religious Christian intolerant cultic group headed by Shano Mayor Lorna Marquardt, Shano Police Chief Ed Whelan, Shano County Sheriff Randy Wright, and Shano Fire Chief Doug Canope. These individuals have extensive criminal records and have used their local political offices to enforce the intolerant religious Christian cultic doctrinaire beliefs on the citizens of Shano. They have connived and schemed up the SIST terrorist scandal to justify the fact that Shano City and county religious Christian cultic officials are part of the SWAT team being trained at Volk Field and Camp Douglas, Wisconsin to storm SIST businesses and properties and decimate and eradicate SIST personnel who refuse to espouse the fanaticism of the religious Christian Lorna Marquardt cult. The terrorist scandal is nothing but to subterfuge to inflame the sentiment of the masses and incite the massacre of the peace-loving people. Religious Christian cult leader Doug Canope, the Shano fire chief, is Lorna Marquardt's hired gun to sway the masses against SIST by showing the public that SIST is so dangerous that the fire inspector must be accompanied by two Shano police officers. No one can even talk to SIST personnel without at least two or more Shano city or county officers present. The illegal arrest of SIST CEO Naomi Isaacson, a massive 135 pound woman, required two FBI agents and 10 Shano police officers, including one of the sadistic religious Christian cult leaders, Shano police chief Ed Whelan. What has this wicked extravaganza done to Shano's pocketbook? It has put Shano in the red by millions of dollars. The religious Christian cult leader scam has terrorized tourists and dried up the little businesses that the city used to have. Local residents are even secretly trying to quietly move out of Shano to other areas of the country not controlled by the dictatorial religious Christian Laura Marquardt cult. In the name of God, these religious Christian Lorna Marquardt cult members have killed and devastated the lives of so many people. Then with feelings of insecurity and inferiority, these same religious Christian Lorna Marquardt cult leaders are involved in sending their missionaries all over the world to spread their brand of Christian disease. 
Is religious Christian cult leader Laura Marquardt willing to invite the blacks from Chicago to come to Shano and start a black church here? Is she willing to allow Saudi Arabian kings to come to Shano and build their Muslim mosque? Will she allow Hindu missionaries from India to come to Shano and build a Hindu temple? Will she allow the Japanese to come in and build a Buddhist temple? Obviously not. Religious Christian Laura Marquardt cult leaders would do everything in their power to prevent these people from coming and destroy them if they did come. Since Christianity is a disease, it is the only religion on the face of the earth that is interested in converts. It is sad to see that in the country of the United States today, in the city of Shano, state of Wisconsin, that under the color of law, barbaric religious Christian Lorna Marquardt cult leaders and members are allowed to terrorize the public and force their bestial belief system on others with the threat of be converted or be killed. Racial discrimination and intolerance against this Indian man and his associates flourishes. Truly, injustice and racial discrimination is a disease which has taken hold of these Shano religious Christian cult leaders. Let the world be aware, racism, racism and intolerance is a Christian disease. The time has come for the state, federal, national, and international organizations to investigate human rights violations and racism in the city of Shano, state of Wisconsin, and country of USA. International relief organizations need to put pressure on the United States government to investigate this terrorist scam contrived by Shano officials. The Senate and Congress need to step in and investigate this scandal. The NAACP, the United Nations, and Human Rights Watch organizations need to move in and prevent the genocide of an innocent group of people headquartered in Shano, Wisconsin. Breaking. Thank you.